five, I think, is very important based on the Warren articles, and that has to do with the um, designated fund balance. Well, we'll inquire the auditor. Uh, I can't give you an exact figure. I can give you a figure of four million five hundred five hundred thousand dollars, but that's not exact. And that is on hand. That's yep. the cash balance. That's correct. That's that's the amount of surplus. Cash. 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 There's or no such thing as cash or in the anticipated. Is it a liquid asset? It's an asset. Is it liquid? Depends on how you look at liquid. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's stop. Okay. 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 Defined by generally accepted accounting practices. No, there, there's it's no not. such thing as cash in, in municipal government. The liquid asset is defined by general accounting principles. Yeah, well, the problem is that the legislature makes the accounting principles for municipal governments, not general accounting systems. So when you look at um, the amount of money that we have outstanding, which averages somewhere around $1.7 million in unpaid taxes, where our money comes from, that's certainly not what I would call liquid. But it is an asset, and the auditors do book it. So when do you think the auditors will be getting to the point where they can tell us what we really have, Fred? Well, you'll have to ask the auditors. I don't speak for them. They don't speak for me. I mean, this is December, and it, I think it's almost 11 plus months now since we ended the year, and the auditors usually get finished in the spring. Here we are at the end of the year. I mean, uh, and we, I, we, we'll need those exact figures to do war articles that dip into the undesignated fund. So keep that in mind. We're not, I won't approve or even <coughs> look at ones that have dip into undesignated without knowing those numbers, Fred. Well, I can only tell you we'll have the numbers when the auditors report them and actual figures. Well, somebody it should be relatively okay. soon. When are the auditors due to be in? Are they scheduled to come in, Fred? They're going to come before the board as soon as we uh, receive the audit. Then they will be coming to the board of selectmen to make a presentation. So they have hopefully before the end of this year. I'm sorry. Hopefully within the next couple of weeks. They were hopefully finishing up the audit yesterday. So they were finishing up the audit yesterday and they have to put that together and get it to yes. the board. So they can and review then be it before they come. And then be forward. scheduled to come in? Mm -hmm. Yes. This could create an impact on Warren articles, as, as Mike said, that are looking to be funded from those amounts. And I'll, I'm going to move on from that. The, uh, the undesignated fund balance as well so that we don't start approving warrant articles that have money in them taken out of the undesignated fund balance and we we'll fall below the, the safety. Well, requirement. obviously, we're about as transparent as a group can get. And all I can tell you, Jerry, is we've asked 15 ways to Sunday. We've asked to get yep. again oh, tonight. I, I mean, there is money in an account. Yep. All right. And... That's what we're asking. How much money is in that account right now? We don't want the anticipated amount to come in. And yes, that is the anticipated amount is also considered an asset. But we've been asking all along for the cash amount. And it's not to grill anybody. It's so that we can make a decision on the Warren articles that they want to have funded from these funds. Yep. So... It appears we're not going to get an answer to that. Well, because you know, cash doesn't exist as you, you listen you to know, the We don't have an answer tonight. today, and we're not there yet. He's refused I'll, based on, on the basis that cash doesn't well, exist. I'm going to take this approach in my mind, and everybody in here is always free to vote their conscience. From where I sit right now, I'm not reviewing the Warren articles. At some point, I will be. Mm -hmm. If I do not have enough information... <coughs> I will vote as I have in the past. And unfortunately, it may be a good Warren article that I would have supported, but if I don't have all the information, and some of you have sat here with me and heard this before, where there were good things out there, but we didn't have enough. If I don't have the information, I can't, go I can't there. be a problem. The problem sure. comes is that 
If we don't have a reasonable picture of our actual financial status, then we cannot put budget in context to our financial status because we don't have it. And none of the other Warren articles, whether they're dipping into the so-called surplus or not. The same issue that constantly confuses me how the uh, Board of Selectmen can generate a proposed budget to us without having any clue what the existing fund balances are and the myriad of funds that exist. They ask for money that's you know readily spendable and already existing funds, but they don't even know it's there. Well, this is our job. I would say focus in on the trust funds, focus in on all the well, yes, that's why I'm pointing out the, the importance of, of us getting a, 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 as close of a reasonable financial accurate picture as we can. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the statement that, uh, that I heard tonight would suggest that when it comes to the you know, so-called undesignated fund balance, what most people refer to as a surplus, um, is not going to be forthcoming. The key is, is there are really two components in there, as I understand it. You've got taxes that have not yet been paid but have been billed. Those are, you know, receivables. So they're and anticipated. Yet, yeah, so are they lumping that together with what I and everyone else in the world would think of as cash. Right. And But, you know, you heard the confusion earlier tonight, which was engendered uh, for reasons I, I cannot fathom. Oh, that was a deliberate diversion. Yeah. I but, well, but I want to make a comment, if I may, about that. Yeah. At the, the audit of the end of 13, there was $2.1 million in cash. I don't care what you call it. It's cash. On hand, not receivable. Since then, since that audit was finished for 13, we spent a million last year to bring, uh, keep the taxes down. We spent a half a million this year to keep the taxes down. We spent 600 and some thousand for next Terra. That adds up to the 2.1, and I don't remember any chunks of money going into that fund to, 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 bring to it keep up. it back up again. So I think we have a serious problem right now with a lack of knowledge. Only we don't know what's going on. We can only base it on what we had for facts at the late, the last time we had the factual information. We can only assume it's damn close to zero. Well. Well, it's, it's a serious we, we question that may, in fact, it's, it's a, serious a serious question. Problem. We don't have the answers. Got to get the facts. We've asked, but that means we can't support the ver the fact uh, that why not? Does it dip Mike, out? We don't have the warrant articles yet. The here. fact that the audit is not complete yeah. leaves us right now in thin air. The audit is about to be wrapped up, so. I know it's been trying on everybody's patience and pushing us, our schedule and things we need to do. So I would say plan yourself accordingly with the budget with a plan A and a plan B. You know, as best I can tell you right now, but those numbers do have to come. That audit has to come. We don't see that audit pretty soon as... This, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, variations of attempts to not disclose what is, should be readily disclosable well, you also don't have kind of, the, you also don't have the default budget. Kind of suggests that the transparency that I was certainly looking forward to in, in this year's process is uh, is not there, and it's very disappointing. 